Alrighty, what I'm going to show you how to do today is wire up a aftermarket subwoofer to a Bose Audio Chevy GM GMC Escalade Denali pretty much any 2000 Three to 2007 Chevy GMC truck or SUV. So the best way to wire up your converter when you're hooking up a sub to the stock head unit is to take out these screws right here and then there's also some on the bottom down there you'll take those out and then this center console will lift right out like that and then as you can see I have my converter down there and I'm actually going through and rewiring this so it's uh, all nice and neat. I'm in the process of doing this right now actually, um, but someone had requested that I make this video showing how you uh, wire it up. So what you're going to want to do is there's one plug that goes into your stock amp and this is the plug for the stock subwoofer which is going to be in the center console like right here that's a six inch or I think it's like a five and a half inch, um, whatever, you know, the stock Bose uh, subwoofer is. Um, it's very common. So this white plug right here plugs in to the amp. right there so you'll just push that take off this connector and then I actually have a cheat sheet for the wires that you're going to want to tap into for your line output converter so you'll have auxiliaries to hook up your amp and this is the cheat sheet So, you're going to want to tap in to these wires, and you can tap in so you can still leave your stock subwoofer hooked up as well, or you can disconnect it and just run your aftermarket subwoofers. But these are the wires that you're going to want to tap into for your line output converter or high low converter so the left sub the minus is light green slash black the plus is dark blue slash white the right plus is dark green solid color and the right minus is light blue slash black and then the only other wires that are on that connector are going to be a ground wire and then also a power wire and you can tap into that as well if you have the same kind of converter 
as I do. And I made a previous video about it. So then this particular one will recognize when it has sound going to the converter and it'll automatically turn on your amp. It has an amp turn on switch built into it and you'll just run that wire back to your amp to the amp turn on and this particular line output converter which is linked up below is really cool also because it has a adjustment knob as you can see so you can adjust the amount that you want your uh, subwoofer to be which is nice depending on what you're listening to so as you can see I need to clean mine up but we'll just tap in just tap into those wires right there and then you'll have everything wired up to wire in your amp and I'll show you how I have that set up all right, McKenna. Dad, I dare you to not Shh. Daddy's making a video. But Dad, I need to talk to you. So, as you can see, I have my amp with my box, and I have an 8-inch sub. You can also get this box that uh, has a 10-inch subwoofer, and I'll also link that up below in the description if you're interested in getting a similar box like this. As you can see, right there, I have my sub down there, and it shoots right into the floor and then the amp goes right on top of it right like that and it still has enough room to put down the seat so it's pretty cool um, pretty cool box so please do subscribe I really appreciate it because every day we took in it every day we took in it and check out the products I have linked down below so you can get it hooked up in your truck or SUV. It's got a Bose system that's a GMC. Dad. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Daddy.